Uh, another day in this shitty ass apartment. Something else broke. Something's always broke here. It's like, what, the third time we've called maintenance in the past two weeks? For now is this. Sink was fucked up. It wasn't draining right. Since we've moved in, it's been leaking as well. So that needed to get fixed. The lock on the door is always fucked up, as y'all know. The freezer the other day. The freezer the other day wasn't working. What? I said I think they're here. No one knocked. Okay, but someone just drove by. Okay. All right, well, now they're not, so they can fix this shitty-ass apartment. But yeah, like I was saying, something here is always broke. I mean, a lot of times it's been small. Like The freezer wasn't that small of a thing, because that took a little But I mean, they bit. said that happened. Yeah, like, so how cool. about... Because this place, all right, at my last apartment in Boca, I feel like once someone moved out, they took like a week or so to like clean the place up. And they're supposed to do that here too, but we moved in when it wasn't even ready. Yeah, but I, they also like brought in new appliances and stuff like every few years. This looks like it's had the same appliances since like 1990. Babe, we don't know what the other apartments look like because we moved in. All right, it but either ready. either way, like I'm saying, this place hasn't gotten new appliances in years. So it's not like... Um, it also looked like someone hadn't <coughs> lived here in a couple of years. Okay, so it should have been done like a while ago. I don't know. It just, it looked like they were... To me, when it looked like when we pulled up, it looked like they were putting it off cleaning this place up because when we walked in it was the carpet was gross like you think the carpet well the carpet would probably be the last thing you do but like at least like cleaning up like the floors or something would be like one of the first things you do when someone moves out or at least check to see if they have any like you know major breaks for like the um what is it the deposit yeah. They didn't even do that because when when we first moved in under the sink, there was a huge like sheet of wood of just mold. No, it couldn't have been someone lived here for years because remember no, we found food and stuff and it, it's not like it was all expired. Well, but I'm saying they it didn't look like they even cleaned it up to make sure that the kid got like to see if he got his deposit back or whatever yeah. because everything was fucked up and I was like what and i like we had to like go around with the, like a checklist or i had to to make sure like everything was like if it was broke like before we moved in we wouldn't have to pay for it then and so i told them about the mold thing and like they fixed it right away like they're good about fixing things right away but it's shit that shouldn't have been broken in the yeah. first place that's my issue yeah and everyone every time because y'all know I Uber everywhere if she can't drive me. And when I get dropped off or people are like, oh, these pla this apar apartment complex is so nice. It looks nice Like, these the places outside. are nice. And I'm like, yeah, well, if you only saw the fucking inside. But we also don't, like, I just want, I keep saying this, I just want to look in someone else's apartment. Because I don't, there's no way everyone's apartment looks like this. There's no way. Mm. And they even said, like, oh, like what when the guy fixed the sink because he like was kind of like trying to find the light switch he was like oh yeah everyone's house is like different like no matter like what one's bedroom it is it's still different mm, well yeah just thought i'd tell y'all about that i should be getting ready for work but i'm lazy and i, gotta I literally it. just woke up well, I've been awake because the fucking upstairs dog kept running around and barking. I was knocked out. I was so tired. So annoyed with that dog. Well, I'm including you in the process. Stop it. <laughs> Guys. You're, you think you're so slick. <laughs> she's trying to convince me. Her heart is right now. Like, she's like a little five-year-old kid right now. Like, I'm surprised she doesn't have a whole PowerPoint presentation. No, the thing is, oh, at work, I was like, me? I feel like the one like, oh, I'll take care of it. I promise. Like, either way, I'm getting a fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be She keeps me. saying that when I go to Florida, she's getting a puppy. I'm 80% sure. Alright, well, I'm that 20% is, 
it better be what happens because we're not getting no puppy. I'm getting a puppy, so I talked to my mom and about it. She keeps it. showing me agrees. ugly dogs. I'm not showing you ugly dogs. You just said yourself the the American, what was it, Shepherd? That's Australian. Australian. Shepherd. Australian you don't shepherd. even know what it is. How do I know Whatever, what it is more than you? Whatever, it's cute. But it's Australian Shepherd mixed with Corgi. And I don't think Corgis are cute, but this puppy is cute. You're like the only girl that doesn't think Corgis are cute. Well, because I'm not basic, but... Alright, well, if she is a dog, I know I'm going to be mad. I like the dog, but I mean, See, we but can't afford it. We can't afford it. The thing is, we can't afford it, and that's that's my All issue. Alright, she keeps saying... She, when she, I say afford it, I don't mean buying the actual dog. It's what comes along with it. Food, shots, all that stuff, vet bills. We can pay You act like food is like 20 okay, bucks. Okay, what about vet bills? We just got to get their shots. If we get a puppy, all we have to do is do puppy shots. That's it. Are you expecting your dog to get sick? Because I'm not. Babe, we're not getting a dog. I'm getting a dog. I'm getting a dog. I swear to God. You're not getting a dog, but I'm getting I a dog. I swear to God, bro. Okay. I already talked to my mom about it. Once I talk to my mom about it, it's pretty sad, so. If after not this vlog or the next one, but if in three vlogs I live by myself and am no longer in a relationship, you guys know why. I'm gonna have a puppy, so. It's fun. <laughs> I'll be life. happy. Fuck you. Yo. I don't know how to feel right now, but like my own girlfriend just fucking called me ugly. Like dead ass called me ugly. We talking about um because I said I was gonna shave my mustache and beard off. Because right now I have really bad ingrown hairs. And usually when I let my beard like grow, even though I don't have the best beard, but when I let it grow out, like obviously all the in ingrown hairs go away because they're not ingrown anymore. So the reason I wanted to shave it off is so it would all be even. And like she went off on her whole thing on how I'd be ugly and how I'm trying to be ugly. And as y'all know, Tatiana likes me better with long, longer hair than what I have it right now. It doesn't even have to be thought hair. It just has to be longer than what it is now. Yeah, but no, she wants me to have the Duke starting five. I wish it was the thought hair because you that's how like you look good like that but i will accept just longer hair on the top i'll right. just accept that anyways so when she said that obviously i still look cute to her now even though what she said after contradicts what she said but she said that i went from a 10 to having my my thought hair or my, just longer hair my, in general my, my duke starting five and knocked myself down to a six like, I'm thinking she gonna say an eight. Okay, you're a seven. I was a, being a dramatic. A nine. I was being dramatic. Maybe a seven. I'm saying Maybe. seven. I was being dramatic. But she she said I'm a six, bruh. Her own boyfriend, the dude she makes love. Like, how do you, how do you even get wet off okay. of a six? That's so disrespectful. Okay, I, I was being dramatic. It's a seven. All right, well, next, tomorrow I get my hair cut. And I'm shaving it all the way bald. Okay. Then you're gonna be a four. Good. And you'll have to look at me every single day. Okay, and I will still love you. But I'm telling you, I'm buying a puppy, so I have something to all look right, at. Alright, well. That's fucked up. Oh. Bar like I cannot deal with barbers no more in fucking Toledo, bro. Like y'all know I went to a new barber shop. I told y'all in the last vlog or whenever it was that I'm switching barbers because the last one, I, I would always be there guaranteed three hours. And last week when I came to this new shop, it wasn't that long. But today, again, I was there three hours, bro. Like, this shit is ridiculous. Like, these niggas act like I ain't got shit to do with my life. God damn, bro. But the boy fresh though, so it's okay, but not really because now half my day is wasted it's already two o'clock i went there at like 11 pretty much like 10 45 i went there so but whatever i'm fresh now so it can't really ruin my mood too much but whatever i fucking hate you bro i hate you so this game stack i 
This is my new shit. It's addicting as fuck.